Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the senior taste of whiskey.com. And today we have an exclusive bottle for our company. It's a single grain whiskey from the independent bottler Signatory Vintage. And this is from the distillery Cameron Bridge, a big grain distillery. And it's bottled at a high ABV at 63 yeah, point not <laughs> so full 63 ABV. It costs 42 euros and 90 cents. So it's quite cheap because um, those grain distilleries have a big, big output, and well, they are typically used to uh, produce blends from those grains. But from time to time, casks find its way to independent bottlers like Signatory Vintage and then they are bottled and this had been a second fill sherry cask. So I have a look, it's acquired quite a, a color and 652 bottles had been the outcome. So it was a probably a 500 liter cask and uh, this is 0.7 liters and it's 13 years of age, distilled on February 4th, 2009 and bottled on June the 14th, 2022. And the cask had been the number two. I think they had to uh, give the cask numbers for themselves. And this is real cask strength. So not only high proof, but real cask strength. Fruity. So 63 is nothing I'm putting on my tongue neat. No, not really. And but I will have a smell on it. Fruity. A little cool note. Very fruity. The cooling, I think it's from the alcohol. The quite strong alcohol and it's quite light in the glass because viscosity of a water alcohol mixture redu reduces with higher ABVs. Very light vanilla notes, fruitiness, yeah. So if you have a column still whiskey, this is a column still whiskey, then you're able to condense the fruitiness out of the, uh, well, well, the wash and uh, the maturation in cherry cask might add a little bit of fruitiness to it. Mm, I don't know if the second fill sherry butt will deliver much of this fruitiness, which typically comes from uh, the residual of the sherry in the porous staves of the cask. Yeah. A little water. Now I have to have a quite a big amount of water marks on it. Very good uh, in it because to come down to forty, you had to add fifty percent of water, and then you will even have more than uh, forty percent. So you, you need quite a lot, and then more fruit, light mint. Yeah, and cheers. Mm -hmm. The typical oiliness of a grain combined with a hefty spiciness of the oak, but not bitterness, spiciness, intense spiciness. Wow. Cladding my mouth a little bit drier in the aftertaste. Yeah, sherry notes might be present. Very interesting for a single grain. This is quite impressive. What I typically have at single grains is a, well, a lack of complexity, which this one has. But this is only a 
a, re, a second fill sherry butt, so a refill sherry butt. And typically the single grains coming from the distilleries are fourth, fifth, sixth, up to ninth fill of ex-bourbon casks and have very little cask influence added to the whiskey. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned.